last week i did a thorough clean of my sister's room and for those of you wondering if they kept it that way well this is what it looks like just a week later disappointing i know anyway it is time to prep this room for a complete room makeover and as you can see here this hook is carrying so much weight and you can tell where they tried to hang it multiple times and the hook either broke or completely fell out then i found some really nasty surprises on walls behind picture frames and behind their bed. Anyway, then I vacuumed all the spider webs off the wall and spackled all the holes. And for those of you who Venmoed me money for this room makeover, I am so grateful and so touched. Thank you so, so much. Then it was time to tape up the walls and the floor, and that was my favorite part. Then I sanded down all the spackle. And for the tray of the paint, I like to put a plastic bag over it because it makes it so much easier to clean up. Like and follow for part two. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of watching me make over my sister's room. So after I prepped the room for painting, I went ahead to the store and chose a paint color, which was very difficult to do, but I finally settled on a color that I liked and a disaster did end up happening with this color because after I was done putting it on the wall, it turned out to be super, super purple, which was kind of odd, but I did not like it. So I went ahead and painted the other three walls this lighter gray and then painted over the accent wall with this darker color. And then it was time to peel off the tape, which is always super satisfying. And I noticed that this window desperately needs to be cleaned. But here is the finished results of the painted wall. And I actually think it turned out really, really cute. And it's going to match the bedding that I bought. So I'm really excited to see that. Like and follow for part three. Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of watching me make over my sister's room. So in the last video, a lot of you were concerned as to why I was the one choosing the color. So my sisters were way too busy to come to the store with me, however I did run the color by them first. And here is me with a super red face because I just carried an entire closet up 4 flights of stairs since it did not fit in the elevator. All this furniture is from Ikea. I love them so much because they're pretty cheap and super easy to build. I also got this dresser which came with a ton of weirdly shaped pieces, but it all ended up coming together nicely. And for those of you with OCD, look how perfectly this fits between the wall and the closet. Isn't that just so satisfying? Anyway, then I switched out the closet doors for some mirror doors, put up some curtains, and then this chair came with no instructions, so I had to wing it. To organize the shoes, I got some shoe racks, and I'll see you guys in part four! Hey guys, so two weeks ago, my sister's room looked like this, but after a ton of hard work, cleaning, organizing, prepping, painting, and redecorating, I finally managed to completely transform this room. And I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you for 300,000 followers. Like what? Is this even real? Thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support. It really means the world to me. And this is the complete room look, you guys. I love how all the colors really ended up coming together nicely. And I left most of the walls bare so that it wouldn't look too cluttered. I added some inexpensive fairy lights to this mirror to really transform this space into something unique. And of course, the closet mirrored doors make this small room look a lot larger than it actually is. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this transformation. Love you! did a bad thing. I bet you look in my head. And you wonder what it is. I tell you what I did. Did a bad thing.
Welcome to day one of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. This is officially my new project. So step one was empty in the room. It's full of every single thing that I own right now. So it took a long, long time. I also ended up doing some sorting out whilst I was doing this because I mean, doesn't that always happen? So I also came to the conclusion that I didn't want this bed frame in here anymore. So I took the mattress out and I did actually manage to find an Allen key to take it down, which was such good luck. And then I was exhausted at this point. It was so hot today. And my boyfriend bought me a nice coffee home, which was so cute. I carried on vacuuming. There was bugs and just random stuff everywhere. But by this time, it was about 8 p.m. So come back tomorrow to see what else I get up to. Welcome to day two of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. If you want to see my vision for the bedroom, then make sure you head over to my Insta story. I'll pop it on my highlights as well, but it's all over there. So I started my day with a trip to home base. Like I said in yesterday's video, I couldn't actually get hold of everything I needed because it was a Sunday and I needed some polyfiller, paint and just random stuff like that. So I got it, continued sanding and decided I should probably clean everything before I start polyfilling. So I grabbed some gloves, my cleaning products and it was time to get to work. The plastic on the windows just had this random black stuff on it and I just really don't know what it is, but this was super, super super satisfying so I did that and then got down to polyfilling now this actually took way longer than I expected because some of the holes were super deep so I pretty much spent the rest of the day doing this like waiting for it to dry doing another layer waiting for it to dry and then I sanded it all down ready for painting in the morning so come back tomorrow at 6 p.m to see me start painting bye Welcome to day three of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. Now we hit a bit of a bump in the road today, but I'll explain that in tomorrow's video at 6 p.m. So I started with my coffee and it was time to prime. I wanted to make sure that everything was damp sealed before I painted, because if you saw in the first video, there was a lot of kind of bubbling on the paint, crumbling away, just because it's an older house, we're on the front by the sea, so it gets kind of battered by the elements. So this was essential. This took all morning and I just let it dry whilst I cleared up after myself. I vacuumed vacuumed which was essential the room was getting a bit of a stay and then I came back and did a second layer whilst trying to convince my boyfriend to build a balcony there's a balcony my dog tried too but I don't think he was convinced I then got a package in the afternoon which was some new gym gear this was so exciting and that is pretty much all I got round to today so come back tomorrow to see what's new Welcome to day four of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. Now all the prep was finally done. It is the day we had all been waiting for, paint day. So I grabbed my coffee and got going. I went for the shade White Mist by Dulux, which is like a gray kind of white and got going. I did decide I should probably tape everything up just for safety. And this is me questioning my decision, watching everyone at the beach on literally the hottest day of the year. But this first coat took me about an hour and a half and then I decided to go for a walk. So I put my bikini on and headed down to the beach. And I also realized I basically had eaten nothing all day. So I grabbed a smoothie bowl, which was really good. It was like mango, banana, blueberry and coconut and then went and did a second coat so this is all for today i got it all over my hands and then i got the terrible news that the electricians had to come tomorrow and rip the whole floor up so come back tomorrow to see what happens Welcome to day five of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. So like I said yesterday, it all went a bit wrong, but basically the morning started with me painting that that was the goal. And then the electricians came, which I was expecting anyway, but I wasn't expecting them to have to rip up the whole floor. And basically I had to stop Everything was turned off, including the Wi-Fi. So I decided to go to the beach again. It was a really lovely day. I couldn't help myself. And I got an iced coffee and then I gave the electricians their space. They finished and it actually resulted in me having to paint the whole freaking bedroom because they had to do some bits and bobs that I needed to touch up. But we didn't obviously have the paint for the other room, like how it was previously. So I had to paint the whole freaking room. I have blisters paint is everywhere and it was painful so come back tomorrow to see what it looks like
Welcome to day six of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. Today I was finishing off painting, I pretty much done half the room and this is my new gym gear for those of you asking. I have linked it in my TikTok bio if you want to check it out. But yeah, I needed to go and grab some more paint first thing so I headed off to home base in my new gym gear and I got another pot of the Dulux White Mist and changed into my painting clothes. It was a pretty warm day here today but not as bad as the day before. For, so I just popped Rick and Morty on and got going. My boyfriend actually helped me today, which I was so grateful for because honestly, it should not take a human three days to paint a bedroom. I also had to go and buy even more paint. So yeah, I just worked up until about 11 p.m., finished off painting the room, and that's actually all I did today apart from tidy up. So I will see you tomorrow where I have a breakdown. Bye! Welcome to day seven of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. Can you believe it's taken me a whole week and we're not even done yet? But I did just want to say, if you can't actually wait, the video has just gone live on my YouTube channel of the final product. I'm just a bit behind on my TikTok, so I will put a link in my TikTok bio and you can go watch the video if you want. Make sure you comment. Anyway. Today, I just glossed everything. My mum told me this was going to be really hard, but it was actually okay. And then I just put the new door handles on my wardrobe. I sanded all that down and everything, repainted it. The door handles that I've got on there now are adorable. And then just got my new bedding out and ready. This is all from dusk. And tomorrow we put it all together. Welcome to day seven, part two of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. It was here that I realized that I'd messed up. So we started putting everything back in the room. It looked pretty cool, or so I thought. And then I put the new door handles on my wardrobe, which I think looks super, super cute. And then it hit me. And this is where it all went wrong. We put everything back in the room and I realized that I'd painted the room purple. It was actually purple. And that's a problem. So come back tomorrow to see how we fix it in a day. Alternatively, you can click the link in my bio through to my YouTube and see the finished product right now in the vlog that I uploaded earlier today. Watch it over there, make sure you do subscribe because I've got another transformation coming soon which involves a hot tub and that's going on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're there. Welcome to the final day of me turning this basic bedroom into something 10 times cooler. So as you can see, the walls were absolutely purple. So we went and bought fire and balls all white and repainted the whole room in a freaking day. Now, what I will say, despite the fact this project is over, there is another one starting in a couple of days, which involves a hot tub, which I think is pretty cool. So if you want to keep watching, then that'd be really cool. But the final transformation is over on my YouTube channel. I'll pop a link in my TikTok bio if you want to go and check it out, where you can see everything and there's still a couple more tweaks to make to it the room is gorgeous but you'll probably agree it looks a bit empty now i explain all of this over on the youtube video and you get to see what's coming as well but i am so over the moon with this room it was just a bit of a crumbling mess to be honest and it feels so fresh now so thank you so much for joining me on this journey check the video out on youtube and stay tuned for my next transformation bye